All right, what's going on, Hot Squad? Welcome back to my Hot Banger trailer marathon. So we're going to check out the last Hot Banger slash Hot Banger trailer of the week. And Screen Junkies, last week, I believe so, released the, their honest trailers for Devil Wolverine. Yes, I know. Another Devil Wolverine vid I'm dropping. I'm mean, reacting. It's been crazy. I've been reacting to a lot of Devil Wolverine-related videos recently. But hey, look, can't get enough of it. So honest trailers, Devil Wolverine, you know, Devil Wolverine, the biggest superhero movie out right now, made, made $1.3 billion, just came on digital about two weeks ago, which feels crazy, it's been two weeks ago, it's been on digital. And overall, I'm never see how what how Scream Junk is gonna do this. So I'll squad further ado, we're gonna end this hot banger marathon off with the honest trailers of Devil Wolverine right now. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Deadpool 1 was a hard R rom com anyone could enjoy. Yep. Deadpool 2 was a love letter to action comedy fans. Yep. <laughs> now, in Deadpool's next adventure, they're only speaking to nerds who fight in the comments of R slash movies. <laughs> I don't like you. You never did. Yeah, see, that's funny, because behind the scenes of Blade Trinity, Wesley Snipes yep. had issues with co stars Ryan Reynolds and Jessica Peel, a story notably relayed by Pat Oswald in his appearance on Pete <laughs> Holmes. I'm sorry, what's that now? <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. Sorry. <laughs> Deadpool and Wolverine. That's true, though. That's true. Now that Ryan Reynolds has smartly diversified from acting, <laughs> it's been mobile. and John Favreau <laughs> is running creative at Disney, aim for the middle and you'll <laughs> never miss. Prepare <laughs> for another forced march down memory lane. It's not as bad as The Flash. It's not as good as No Way Home, <laughs> but it's got more embarrassing celebrity cameos than a party at Diddy's house. Oh, damn. From the legendary to the Odyssey. <laughs> this isn't a car. This is a Honda f***ing Odyssey. <laughs> the heroes to the Honda. <laughs> I take it all back. The Honda Odyssey f***s hard. <laughs> the small roles. Code, you're up. To the minivans with top scores from JD Power and Associates. <laughs> so how does the Kia compare to the Honda Odyssey? I love generating value for shareholders. <laughs> uh, I mean commercials. I mean movies. I love movies. <laughs> right? <laughs> Even though he lives next to Bluey these days, Deadpool <laughs> is still just how you remembered. This is Baby Knife. She's gonna f*** you in the face. <laughs> yes, he knows he's in a movie. Suck it, Fox. I'm going to Disneyland. Get <laughs> he knows he's Ryan Reynolds. I don't want to spend the rest of my life like an annoying one-trick pony. And he knows that if he doesn't make a joke every six seconds, people will start to think about the plot. And you do not want to do that. The multiverse does not need a babysitter. We need a massive killer. Because this time, uh, the TVA, uh, they are, uh, oh, sorry. Phase 5 taught my brain to go soft focus anytime someone says multiverse. No one comes back from the void. Tell that to Cassandra Nova. If you squint, you can pretend Tom is talking to a different Logan. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Regardless, <laughs> if the Logan from far. Logan dies, the universe fades away, like Steve Carell leaving the office. So Deadpool has to replace Logan, even though he's still alive since that film takes place in the future? It's 2029. This has to be the most convoluted setup for a film about two guys making dick shows in a van. <laughs> Didn't they just drive Charles to Taco Bell together? The new Chisalupa from Taco Bell! Tis. Get it with chicken! Get Tis. it with steak! Tis. Hugh Jackman has returned as Wolverine because divorce is expensive. Damn. I have a feeling your work is only just getting started. Tell your guy. He'll finally put on the costume. Mm -hmm. But since this is Disney we're talking about, every old hero has to establish what a sad sack piece of shit they become first. <laughs> you might not know it, but apparently I'm the worst looking. Thrill <laughs> as Hugh Jackman gives a fully committed, intense, Oscar-worthy mm -hmm. performance. Yeah. I walked away. They called after me. I, I walked away. Which, yeah. like, thank you, but was that necessary? <laughs> this didn't tip you off? <laughs> Should also be crying the scene as tiny me. <laughs> Does it matter? Get back in the Honda Odyssey? <laughs> Righto. Watch these immortal warriors clash in a string of brutal, vicious, completely anticlimactic fights yeah. <laughs> that are pointless even by the standards of a genre where no one stays dead for three consecutive projects. <laughs> Come on. And we're only truly punishing on Marvel's overworked VFX teams. Mm. But this movie knows fans have been desperate to see these exact fights their entire lives. Source themselves. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be good. Get your special sock out, nerds. 
It's gonna get good. Let's give the people what they came for. People have waited decades for this fun. I mean, look, he's not wrong. But you don't have to call us little piggies while you feed us the slop. Let this little piggy keep some dignity. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Oh, Channing Tatum's Gambit. Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. <laughs> Together, DPNW will be banished to the void, a big field outside of time and space where comic book fights are easier to shoot. And there's plot justification for more surprising cameos. As in, I'm surprised I remember any of these people at all. Hmm. There lives Cassandra Nova, Charles Xavier's secret evil twin. <laughs> she may share Chuck's accent and hairline, but not his distaste for using Omega level powers to ruin your day. Unless they're critical to the plot, in which case, a light fingering will do. <laughs> Uh. She's generic, forgettable, and her plan <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> wow, Deadpool really has joined the MCU, huh? Hmm. So strap in for a cinematic version of one of those who's who in the Marvel Universe books. Hmm. Eliath is in this thing? From Loki Season 1, Episode 5? Hmm. That sidelines the entire Deadpool ensemble not named Peter. They didn't test well in the focus group. Particularly Cable. Goes light <laughs> on the central love story that grounds the franchise. Sir, my girl is uh, kind of had it with my shtick. And would delight exactly one generation of moviegoers <laughs> for months to come. Because once this era is over, there's going to be a lot of awkward silence where the pause for cheering moments go. Oh. <laughs> Please clap. <laughs> Please clap. Would it clap this though? Of course, please clap. Yes, yes, obviously. But please clap. But please clap. The freaking music. Without the music, man, it's crazy. Yeah, of course, please clap. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Please clap. Please clap. Now, if you wouldn't have to this part, though, when um, Dippo, of course, came. Like your parents did it, ain't uh, Maybe Disney will just buy up whatever the next generation cares about. Like Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Comments at Freddy's. Mm. Or Skibbity Toilet. Oh, God. Oh, Ew. It's so much worse than I thought. Oh. Starring. The merch store called, and they're running out of you. Hmm. The Greatest Logan. Hmm. Princess Die. Princess Die. Oh. Time and Prejudice. The, yep, the Fred Fred that's not in this movie. Mm hmm. The Adventures of Pete and Skeet. Ah, that's it. Not another Teen Wolfie. <laughs> Jenny from the Flop. <laughs> Jenny from the Flop. Day Player. Day Player. Close Up Magic Mike. <laughs> that is... I'm on a Zimpic, bitch. <laughs> he Cooked. He Cooked. Spade Wilson. Spade Wilson. Sim Pool. Sim Pool. Tim Pool. Tim Pool. She has some notes pool. <laughs> and Car Pool. <laughs> Let's go sell some certified pre-owned vehicles, mother <laughs> Cash In of the Christ. Cash <laughs> In of the Christ. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Wanna do some cocaine? Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. Wait, the guy who greenlit Secret Invasion is anti-cocaine? <laughs> I'm not buying it. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I, I saw Secret Invasion and that was absolute garbage. I, I, man, that was actually one, has to be arguably the worst Disney MCU series. Like, my guy, it was so freaking boring. So boring, man, I'm like, Come on, what what is going on? What like what is this? What 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 was that? <laughs> but yeah, uh yeah. Sierra Vage was so disappointing. Absolutely a massive disappointment. But overall, W on trailers, Sweet Junkies, W on trailers, Devil Wolverine. I enjoyed this, definitely enjoyed this. So it's label as always, man. We're label as always. So I'll squad, that is my conclusion on my Homebaker Cherry reaction to Screen Junkies on trailers for Deadpool Wolverine. So enjoy this, please. Hit like button, it means about let me comment share your thoughts. Have you seen Deadpool Wolverine? And did you buy are you gonna buy it on Blu-ray if it didn't come on Blu-ray or you've seen the digital? Saw so Squad, it's finally now time to end this Hot Banger week off. So I will see y'all next week for more Hot Bangers. This is Taurus Hot sign off for today and for the weekend. Safe out this guy. Peace out. Have a great day. Hot Squad forever.